What's going on guys? So as you can see, I've got a Nintendo DS here and it's not just any DS, it's actually a DS Lite. And in this video, I'm gonna be seeing what happens when you play the DS Lite in 2020. Uh, so the DS Lite is a console I'm pretty fond of. I, I played it a lot when I was a kid. Uh, unfortunately, this one right here is not actually mine. It's just one I'm borrowing. I uh, unfortunately sold mine a long time ago. So if you're not familiar with the Nintendo DS, or the original DS came out in like 2004, I believe, and then the DS Lite came out in 2006. The main difference is the original DS did not have a backlit screen. This one does. Uh, they even came out with the DSi a few years later, which I think had a camera. I'm not sure if there are any other differences, uh, but I don't actually even know anybody that bought a DSi. Uh, but basically in this video, we're gonna open up this case. Uh, we're gonna take a look in this backpack I have here. Um, also got some random game cases uh, we're gonna take a look at. And basically we're gonna open it all up, see what we got, turn on the console, and you know, just see what it's like to play the DS Lite in 2020. Cause you know, this thing came out, I guess 14 years ago. So it's basically retro at this point, but it is still a cool piece of technology. So let's go ahead and just take a look at this case we got here. So it is, as I said, I'm borrowing it. Um, this is not my pink case. <laughs> Mine will probably be like red or something. Uh, but we got a carabiner here, so you can attach it to something if you want to. Uh, made by Switch and Carry. I'm not sure who that is. That's kind of ironic, it's called Switch, because obviously Nintendo came out with a console called the Switch. So that's kind of funny. And then it looks like we got a pocket back here. I uh, doubt there's anything in here, but let's go ahead and see. There's something in here. Oh, oh, that's games. Dude, nice. We got like four games in here, maybe? All right, that's gonna come in handy later. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. I don't think there's anything else in here. All right, so let's go ahead and get to the good stuff. The console. <laughs> And there we go, it's got some flowers on it. So I've said it once, but I'll say it again, this is not my DS Lite. Um, no, I did not put flowers on my DS. Uh, but I did have the same color DS. I had a, I had a white DS Lite. Let's go ahead and just take a look at it and see what this thing's like. So we got a volume button on the bottom. Um, that nice slider. It's really smooth. A little bit dirty too, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, we got a headphone jack. That's, that's not something you see every day, a headphone jack. That is, that's pretty nice. And then on the bottom, I believe this was a slot right here to play Game Boy Advance games. Maybe Game Boy Color games. I'm not sure. We'll try that out in a little bit and see what works. And of course, here on the back, you have some random details. And as you can see, I got a stylus on the side that's pink. How nice. Um, I've actually had to open up a DS a couple times because I had a DS and the right trigger button I basically broke. So I opened this thing up and I soldered on a new switch, I think. I don't remember, that was a really long time ago now. Uh, but you can actually put a battery, a new battery in here if you want to. Um, this thing recharges, so you don't have to ever open this up if you don't want to, but you can but you can buy a spare battery and instead of recharging, you could open up the battery compartment and swap it out. And then if we look at the top here, as I mentioned a minute ago, we got some, some trigger buttons. We got the right and the left, right, left. And of course we got a proprietary charging port, classic Nintendo, you know. Um, and then on the top, we got a place for your game cartridges. And then you got the two little holes right here, which I'm pretty sure you could use to basically put like a, um, you know, attach a carrying case or carrying strap to it, that sort of thing. Now let's look at the front again, um, not because of the flowers, but the rest of the console. It was always a nice looking console. It's kind of got like a glassy finish and it has the little logo, the two, the two squares right there, or rectangles, whatever you want to call them. Um, it's very fitting because it's uh, dual screen. DS stands for dual screen. So you got two screens right there. Um, and on the side right here, we got the power button and nothing over there. So I always remember the power button being pretty cool. You just slide it up and hold it for a second and I think it turns on, maybe, or maybe not. Well, oh, there it goes. All right, it's on now, maybe. I'm not sure what's going on, guys. It's not turning on. There it goes. <laughs> oh, that classic startup screen man this thing is really scratched up that was scary for a second i'm not sure why it wasn't turning on maybe it's because i was holding it down and i think you just have to like flick it up real quick maybe you, oh that's what you do you hold it down to turn it off and to turn it on you just like flick it up real quick that's what it is there we go that classic startup screen and so if you're not familiar the top screen was just for viewing the bottom screen it was actually a touch screen so you could touch with your finger or the stylus and ooh, here we go. This is some classic stuff right here, guys. So let's take a look at this thing, guys. We have some goodies right here. Uh, first, let me see if I can turn up the brightness. There we go. All the way up so we can see it's nice and easy. Um, so as I said, the bottom screen is touchscreen. Top screen is not a touchscreen. 
Uh, so the bottom screen always had um, some things you could touch. Obviously, you got PictoChat, which was awesome. Not gonna lie, DS Download Play is one of the most underrated features of all time. Basically, if you had a game, you could do DS Download Play. And if your friend had a DS as well, you could basically link up with each other and you could play games with your friend and your friend wouldn't have to have um, the same game, which is pretty neat. And of course, when I just backed out, it's making me shut down now, which is weird. But I do slightly remember the DS doing that a lot. It always make you shut down whenever you did or quit something. Let's open this thing back up again. So as we saw earlier, you got your brightness setting right here in the middle. I'm not sure what that is. Um, this right here, I'm assuming is the clock. Let's see. Oh, it's an alarm. I have an alarm set for 1817. Um, I'm not sure what that's for, but I'm going to say no. And let's check out this right here. I think this is, this is probably the settings. Yep, settings. So let's see what we got in here. So we got some options. So we got language. Yeah, I'll stick with English. Unfortunately, I can't speak any other, other languages. Um, this right here looks like it has something to do with, oh yeah. So you can decide if you want to play on the top screen or the bottom screen for your Game Boy Advance. So let's say play on the touch screen because that's easier to look at. I'm not sure what this is. Startup. Ooh, manual mode or auto mode. Let's stick with auto for now. Or manual. Sorry about that. Now if we go back, um, got calendar, date. So the date is actually correct. That's pretty cool. Um, so the date and time were actually correct. That's nice. And then we got a birthday. So right now it's on 619. Let's change that to, let's change that to January 1st. Just for just for ease of use, comment down below if you got a birthday on one one. Um, and we got the username right here, which is Rachel, with a little sunny thing. All right. Ooh, let's just uh, cancel that. And then next over, we got this right here. Message interpersonal message. Oh, Rach rocks. All right, I'm gonna leave that alone too. Um, favorite color. Let's go with pink. Pink is fitting for the the color of the case, and. Oh, I forgot about this. You can calibrate the screen. So if you so if you do this calibration and you press the spots with your stylus, it apparently calibrates it, which is pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Touchscreen calibrates, and I think that turns off your console now when you quit quit the settings. Yeah, I don't know why I always did that. It was so super annoying. Let's turn this thing back on and see what else we got here. All right, so we've taken a look at this stuff down here. Um, we definitely got to take a quick look at PictoChat. Because PictoChat was pretty sweet. All right, so you open up PictoChat, and we have four different chat rooms. I'm not sure if anybody ever had 16 people in one chat room. That's absolutely ridiculous. Um, but let's just open it up and check it out. All right, so here in PictoChat, you got like a keyboard and stuff, which is pretty cool. And you can actually draw too. And then you could press send. And there you can see your message. And if anybody else is in the PictoChat room, um, you could basically write messages back and forth, which was pretty sweet, not gonna lie. There's a bunch of other stuff in PictoChat too, like symbols and emojis, the OG emojis. And then you could send it and then you could bring it back down and draw on it and random stuff like that. All right, so let's try to play a game now. So let me put my stylus away and let's check out what we had in this little case I found. So we got my Spanish coach. That sounds like fun, I guess. Got Nintendogs. Nintendogs was, Nintendogs was legit. Um, Sims 2 Castaway. All right, cool. And we got Pet Vet, if I can get it out of there. There we go, Pet Vet. So actually, before we put the game in, let me grab this uh, big old backpack, and let's see what we have in here. All right, so if we open this thing up, we got Charger. This thing I just stuck in here earlier. I was using this to charge the console. Don't need that right now. Um, got a car charger. That's nice. Always useful for a portable console. I got some <laughs> uh, some headphones. This would be pretty funny if you're like riding the subway and you saw some some dude wearing these pink Nintendo DS headphones. I'll see what else we got. So we got a couple couple more game cases, I guess, unused. And oh, another game case with some kind of note in it. Actually, it's not even a note. It's just like random stickers that are messed up. That's kind of weird. All right, what else we got? 
another game case with no games in it. And then we actually have like five more styluses in here. Oh, shoot. Here we go. So we got a white, we got a black, we got a gray. And we actually have two more pink styluses, which I can't really fish out because they're kind of stuck in there. Um, but yeah, that's it. We actually got a pocket down here, which has nothing in it. I guess you can stick your DS down there if you want to. All right, so let's go ahead and play a game. So I'm going to put in Nintendo Dogs because that's, that's a classic. So you just stick it in here like so. It clicks in. Open it back up, and it should pop up right here. But we shall see. Hopefully it still works. Maybe you have to turn it off and back on. Maybe. I'm not sure. There it is. Yep. Nintendo Dogs. I'm going to turn off the sound in case there's some copyrighted music, because there probably is. Knowing Nintendo. So here we go, guys. <laughs> this brings back some memories. I used to have Nintendo Dogs too. We got a few dogs in here. We got Krista, Sam, and Angel. I bet these dogs haven't been played with in ages. They could probably use a little bit of love. Look at those gra graphics, though. These are actually not bad graphics for a, for a handheld. Pretty nice 3D graphics. Um, not bad for, you know, 2006. So much random stuff you do in this game. Dude, the DS was DS was classic. But they, yeah, there you go, guys. So we got this, we're looking at Sam right now. Um, pretty nice dog. Comment down below if you like dogs or cats. Let's have an argument. Let's see which ones are better. I like dogs, personally. Um, but look at them. Look at them go. All right, guys, so I'm going to turn this off, and we're going to try a Game Boy Advance game because Game Boy Advance games are supposed to work. All right, so I have Crash Bandicoot Purple. Never actually played this, but it's a game I have. Stick it in the bottom. Um, kind of sticks halfway out, but whatever. Let's go ahead and turn it on. And we should be able to play it on the bottom screen, I think. So kind of the cool thing about this menu is the top screen is for DS cards, and the bottom game is for um, Game Boy Advance. I don't know, just kind of thought it was cool. But there we go. So you can play Game Boy Advance games on here. And Crash Purple, pretty sweet. Next up, I'm actually going to try a Game Boy Color game because I'm not sure if you can play color games on it. You would think if you can play um, Game Boy Advance games, you can play color games, but not sure. I used to play Game Boy Advance games on here a lot because I, you know, they had some good Game Boy Advance games, so you just buy them and play them on your DS, which was which was fun to do. All right, so now I got a Game Boy Color game, Buzz Lightyear, classic, um, and it does not even fit for whatever reason. That's kind of odd, because the Game Boy Advance could play Game Boy Color games. Um, and you know, they made, they made a Game Boy Advance slot here, but the Game Boy Advance slot here does not fit Game Boy Color games. That's really weird. Alright guys, so thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed this flower powered DS Lite. And definitely let me know down in the comments if you have a DS Lite or a regular DS or maybe even a DSi. And again, thanks for watching and have a great day.